Massive, massive episode coming up today. We've been called into the boardroom to beg for our job. We've made a big money signing. Oh, and if we survive the board meeting, we've got top of the table Knotts County to deal with. So it's all going on today in today's episode of Rerouting South End. Hello, 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 people. Welcome back to the channel. It is me, TaylorMade Gaming, back at you once again with another video. And yep, huge episode coming up today. In just a moment, we're gonna go into the dreaded boardroom and beg, beg, beg for our job. And if we survive that, like I say, top of the table, Notts County, coming up later in the episode. But just before we do get to all that, I want to talk about our new big money signing and how we've been getting on since the last video. Because we've played four games and you're going to agree, it's rather harsh that we've been called into a boardroom after the last few games. But first up, new signing, it is one Lee Novak or Novak. Not sure how you pronounce it, but fans of lower league football will certainly know who he is. He's played for a load of lower league teams. Bradford City, Scunthorpe, Charlton, Birmingham, Huddersfield. Whole lot of good lower league teams there. And you can see he's played two games for us. He's got one player of the match, which he got on his debut, where he scored two goals. So that was an excellent start for him. Like I say, he's only played the two games out of the four. Fitness is still a little bit of an issue with him. Hopefully he gets that built up if we do manage to stay in the, in the job. He is getting paid £1,500 a week, along with Abu Agogo and Reese Murphy, I believe. They are our joint top earners at the club. But he was someone we really needed. Rhys Murphy, since a brilliant start to the season, has just tailed off. You saw him miss a penalty in the game against Grimsby in the last episode. And also, he's missed another one in between that video and this one. So that was kind of the last straw. So then I brought in Lee Novak. And in his debut, he did do very, very well. So hopefully, if we stay in the job, he can carry on like that. And so, so we go and see how we've been getting on since the last video. Alright then guys, here we are. You was last with me for the game away to Grimsby. 2-0, awful performance. Obviously, um, uh, Lee Novak missed a penalty as well. Like I just said, so that really didn't help. It was nil-nil when he missed that penalty. If he'd have scored that, who knows what would be happening in today's video. But alas, we lost that one. But now you can see why I think I'm a little bit hard done by. Because we went back to a 4-3-3 and it worked. It worked against Maidenhead and it worked against, Al worked against Altrinum. 3-1 wins in both of those games. Lewis Gard, Ashley Nathaniel George and Prince Henry, who's a guy I've got on loan from Bristol City on a free deal. We're not paying anything for him, which is probably for the best because apart from that one goal, he's not done a whole lot while he's been with us in the last couple of months. But anyway, 3-1 win there. And then came Altrinum and Lee Novak's debut. Two goals either side of a Lewis Guard one gave us a 3-1 victory. Lee Novak looked like the solve, the solve, the solve, the solvia? The solvia. That's not a word, but that's what I'm going for. He looked like the guy who was going to save my job. And yeah. Since then, we've lost 1-0 to Woking and we've drawn 0-0 with Yeovil, which isn't a terrible result because Yeovil, Yeovil are in the playoff places. You can tell I'm nervous about this board meeting. I'm messing up my words, but I'm going to leave it all in. And so, I think two wins out of those four 
here's a really reason for me to be getting a board meeting, especially before we're about to play top of the table, Notts County. Ah, oh, but that's all we've got to talk about. So I suppose I haven't got really much of a choice, have I? I've got to go into this board meeting. Wish me luck, people. Wish me luck. Here we are. The board wish to hold a meeting with you regarding your position at the club. Your performance hasn't been good enough and your position is under threat. So let's walk in. Okay, so here we are with dodgy Ron Martin. He's saying we are not happy with your current performance and are considering your position. We'd like to know why you think the team have performed so badly. So I don't know what we're going to say. I think I'm going to say, I think it looks worse than it is. We've played really well. Or I, I appreciate that things haven't been going exactly to plan, but our next few fixtures look far more favourable. No, nope, that's a lie. Uh, looking at how hard our upcoming fixture list, no. Uh, da, 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 yeah, I think we go. I think it looks worse than it is. Let me know down below what you would say to these questions. You can see all the possible answers here. Let me know what you would say. I think it looks worse than it is. Oh. Unfortunately, we need to see tangible proof of that in the table, and that hasn't been the case. Oh. Do I say, give me a month to improve the situation? Or what do I need to do to stay in charge? I'm going to say, give me a month. Give me a month. And what's Ron going to say? Oh, okay. Okay, we've survived for the minute. We look forward to you keeping your promise, but if you fail, we have no choice but to sack you. You should be aware that failure to live up to the promises you have made here could result in the termination of your contract. Okay, well, we've survived for a minute. So, shall we go and take on top of the table, Notts County? Oh, this game's got a whole lot more important. This is the team for today's massive game. We've got Arnold in goal, Clements, Coulson, Hobson and Atkinson are our back four. Atkinson and Clements have been moved to full backs on defend, just as we look to be a little bit more solid at the back. And then in the middle, we've got a go go, Ferguson and Dunn in the middle of the pitch. And then up front, it's Pearson on the left wing, Jack Bridge on the right, and our new star striker, Lee Novak, up front. Hopefully, this can be a team to at least get us a draw. Surely, a draw against top of the table should be all right for now for us. But this is the team we're going with. Please let it work. Please. Here we are in the dressing room. I've just done the team talk. I've pretty much told everyone I've got faith in them. And as you can see, no reaction from anybody. Not a good sign. Prediction time. I don't have a clue. I'm going to hope for a lucky 1-0 to us. Come on, come on boys, please, anything, anything would be good. 14 minutes into the game, it's Notts County with the ball. They've played it into the box and Rodriguez has got it and Rodriguez has put it in the back of the net as easy as you would like. Oh, but it's offside, it's offside, we've survived. We are surviving by the skin of our teeth. Oh my gosh, that was poor defending. Thank God we've survived. Half an hour gone now. We've got the ball from a throw-in. Atkinson's got it back off Ferguson. And now it's done with it. Into Hobson. Ferguson, who goes over the top. Bridges in. Bridges in. Bridges shot and he's hit the bar. Oh, oh no. Well, not many highlights in that first half as we've just been trying to contain Notts County. We've done an okay job of that so far. 
They've had seven shots, two are two, two on target, two are none. And they've had more of the ball, which I do not like. But it's still nil-nil. Again, just like in the last video, I'm going to wait until about the hour mark and see what needs changing. But as for now, I'm going to go pump my fists. Um, I think we've been unlucky so far. Or oh, hands on hips, that's what I need to do to say that. Mm, two people motivated. Not a whole lot. But now here we go. Finally, some reaction from a few people. Okay, come on. Come on. We can still get a 1-0 win. Come on, Southend. 65 minutes gone. I was just about to start making subs. But we've got the ball. Or rather, we did have. We've given it away. Please don't let Notts County get a goal here. Wooten, back to Cameron. Cameron with the ball into Francis, who goes over the top. Gonzalez is in behind. Gonzalez, if this goes in, this will count, and it does go in. And of course, it's Kevin's first of the season. Of course, it is. Oh, oh, this this does not bode well. This does not bode well at all. As that was a very nice goal from Gonzalez there. Now let's make some subs. Here are the subs we're making to try and get anything out of this game. We've brought Dennis on for Jack Bridge. Price on for Sam Pearson. We're going 4 3 one, two. We're going a more direct passing. A distribute over the opposition defence. Just to try and catch their defence out. And we're going with a higher line of engagement for our strikers. Please let this work. Please, just one goal. That's all I want now. Come on, lads. Ten minutes just about left of the game. Notts County have got the ball again. This time, Coulson heads it away as far as Novak. Ferguson, Dunn, Dennis. What can Dennis do? He goes back to Dunn, to Atkinson. And then Dennis, or Dunn again, sorry. Atkinson, Dunn. Ferguson. Hobson over the top. And can Dennis get onto this? Yes, he can. Come on, Dennis. Come on. Cross the ball in, son. He has. Novak's in space, but he cannot get to that ball. Clements collects it for us. Into Ferguson. A go-go. Ferguson. All the way back to Coulson. We want to be going forward. We're on attacking here, lads. Ferguson. Price. Dennis, into Dunn, and Dennis is in space, Dennis, Dennis shoots, Dennis scores, yes, come on Matthew Dennis, oh I never thought I could like an ex-gunner, but I am loving this one, oh, what a very nicely worked goal this was, lots of passes, and Dennis taking his chance, first time, maybe we can go on and win it now, Come on, boys. This could be a massive mistake, but I am chucking a third striker onto the pitch. Reese Murphy has come on for Abu Agogo. We've only got two or three minutes left of normal time. Can we go and win it? Come on, come on, lads. Well, okay, that last sub didn't do anything, but... We've got a 1-1 draw away to the team that are top of the league. We didn't play that well. They had 18 shots, 2R5, 6 on target, 2R2, and 52% of the possession. But I think not losing to the team top of the league has got to be decent, even though we have fallen down in the league, down to 15th. We've still got a few games left to try and save our job. Let's go and have a look at what those games are, and then I shall say adios. Well, first things first, we are still in a job. So let's just go and see when this promise to the chairman runs out. That runs out in 24 days on the 3rd of January. So I think we're going to come back for the last game before that date. So what is that game? Third of the first. The promise runs out. It's Bromley. Bromley at home. 
And quite weirdly, we've got them on Boxing Day as well, away from home. So, hopefully, Bromley, they're in a similar sort of position as us. They're beatable. They are beatable. A couple of wins? Maybe a draw against Barnet? Where are Barnet in the league? They're sixth. Yeah, you would hope that a couple of wins there, a win against Dorking in the Cup, and we should be okay. But, as ever, who knows? But anyway, that is where we are going to leave it. And just before we do leave it, I just want to say thank you to everybody that's got to the end of this video and anyone who's watched any of my content. Because, as of recording this, we have hit 750 subscribers. We are three quarters of the way there to getting monetized as my headphones are leaving my ears. So... Maybe this time next year might be monetized. Who knows? But anyway, if you've enjoyed that video, pop a massive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 22 content. And I'll be back with you, hopefully with a video on Christmas Day, if I get time. I have got a little something planned, so hopefully I can get that out to you on Christmas Day. And if not, I'll be back with you, hopefully on Monday, to see if we can keep our job for a third episode running so thank you very much for watching follow me on twitter at taylor m gaming and i hope you all have a very very good christmas and i shall see you next time